Okay, I've been basically practicing the same old same old. So there's not like... Gosh. So that's why I've you know, been a lot of technique videos because really I can't kick very high in this thing. Obviously that would just be a problem. <clears throat> There have been a few things I've added to my arsenal, like if somebody grabs your wrist, instead of just going BAM, WHAM, WHAM, and BOOP, there's also the monkey foo way of doing it. BOOM, BAM, WHAM, and you've got the arm, an arm bar. And then if they've got you in a collar, collar elbow tie up, This could work for that, or this could work for some other shit. Like if they got their sh your shirt here, you can always do it. Boom, 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 dirty boxing bullshit, or the uh, wrestling thing. Of boom, 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 boom. But then there's the other thing. Bail moves. And just a pure like wrestling thing. Like if they've got your shirt, uh, Iki Jitsu thing. Or almost a keto. Yeah, I hate to admit it. Instead of having to go boom and then whap. Boom and then whap. Or boom, bam, whap. You can just do the simple thing of boom. And you're not just grabbing the hand. You're grabbing the side nerve right here. It's not as good as this nerve for taking someone's arm out of there. I know people say, but, I'm, but nerve manipulation doesn't work. Fuck you, it does. If you know what the fuck you're doing, it works. And you're not going to be able to do it without throwing a punch or a kick or anything. But it can work. You can set it up to get in there. It's like with anything else, it's within ranges. Like if some dudes... Clearly, you're not going to come in and just start manipulating his nerves and shit. <sighs> because the distance isn't correct. But. <laughs> mm. If you can get the right range, then yeah, you can do shit like that. Like when grappling things, you can do things. Like I would suggest grabbing here. For wrist lock instead of whatever the hell this is. If you want to use two hands, grab there and then grab there. See, one other thing I've been working on, I think I finally got kind of grayish. Because you're trying to get behind to where you can get that. Oddly enough, the sort of slaughter move, it apparently is a real move. I haven't had time to practice it yet, but I've seen others show it. See if I can get that better. Huh? One more try from other side. <coughs> so, maybe. I don't know. If you're using the knee, coming around, grabbing that arm, punch the gut, grab behind the head. Push the leg you kicked in and you're kicking that knee right about here. So that's where that kick is going. You know it's not going to break the leg, but it's going to destabilize their fucking standing for a minute. So they're throwing off. Because they're going to be trying to force to get this arm back. Because you're, you're coming over, you come with a knee, you grab this arm, you come with that kick. Bonk. It's not going to take out. I mean, maybe if you hit right here, you might get it. But that's a one in a million shots. So you're probably better off just hitting that big nerve right there and just whoop, for a second so you can come around and then this leg is already here and you can just push on the ankle of that leg so this one's now trapped and you can hit to the back come up boom hit burp. so it kind of works like a sleeper because while their arm is stuck here 
I can put my other arm, not this arm, of course, this same arm, because this is the one pulling, so it comes up under the snake's behind the neck, grips right there, and there's while pulling that, and his legs are stuck, so he can't wiggle out or anything, because his balance is off. I've just kicked this leg. The same leg that's kicked is now caught trapped this leg, so it can't move with an old judo style thing. Just around his leg and caught, pulling it back, and this one's pushing over here. You've hit the ankle and pushing there, but keep this foot on the floor so it has balance. Your weight has to go here and here, so you can come back up and pull. Just go like I said, I haven't really been doing a lot of new things, the same old thing. There's some fancy kicks I've worked on, but not the outfit for that. So, you know, I'll answer the people that like had things reported for me. Go fuck yourself. I'm sorry you have a tiny pecker or no brains. This is really nothing should have been taken down. Just YouTube is full of shit. Why did they not report all the transphobes and take them off of there? So, a liberal form. I don't know. Oh, I get it. They're famous but bitch buddy assholes. Didn't want those fucking reported. So, here's to y'all. Everybody else, enjoy. Why my hair looks so damn fucking short, I have no idea. It's not. At least shoulder length at this point. At any rate, peace, love, and chicken grease. I ain't got much else to say on this one.